asking James to come and lead us in prayer, and then we'll have a selection, and then um, Sister Camilla come with our announcements. Amen? Amen. 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 So Matthew 26 and 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it with you in my Father's kingdom. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. The word of God for the people of God, and it's already blessed. Sister James is coming at this time. Let's receive her with a hearty amen. Amen. Good morning. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we come most of all to give you thanks, oh God. Thank you, Lord. Realize, Lord, this is the day that you have made, God, and we will rejoice and be glad in, oh God. So realize, God, what for your mercy we will, will consume. Well, God, you thank you this morning that you woke us up in new mercy, God. We yes. thank you, God, for your faithfulness and knowing that your compassion will never fail, Father. So we come right now, God, boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need, oh God. But, Lord, you have woke us up, gave us another chance at life, oh God. We thank you, God, for being clothed in our right mind, with life, help, and strength, oh God. Blood, yes, we're on the warm in our veins, God. So, God, we come to worship you this morning, oh God, to give ourselves away, oh God. And, Lord, we thank you, Father God. And we say yes to your will and yes to your way, oh God. And, Lord, we ask you, Lord, to create us a clean heart this morning, oh God. Renew the right spirit within us, oh God. We worship you today, God, to give ourselves away to you today, oh God. And we ask you, oh God, that the Holy Spirit, oh God, the rest and rule in here today, God, that you will go from breast to breast and heart to heart today, God, because we need your presence in this room, oh God. And Lord, we ask you, God, to do what you want to do in our life, God, in our minds, God, but you have your way, God. And Lord, we just thank you, Father God, for another chance to enter your gates with thanksgiving. And your course of praise, oh God, be thankful unto you and to bless your name, oh God. But realize, Lord, you're the only one that's worthy, oh God, and Lord, we just thank you, God. So allow us to see this day, oh God. And Lord, we ask you today, oh God. We're going to ask about our pastor this morning, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh Father God, we thank for his family today, oh God. And Lord, we thank you, Father God. We know that a family prays together, stays together, oh God. So ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Look at everyone here today, oh God. But Lord, you know we stand in need of today, God. And Lord, you promise to fly all our needs according to your riches and glory today, oh God. Ask you to touch heart to heart today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, look on this community today, God. And Lord, we just thank you, Father God, for your many, many blessings you already stole upon us today, God. We thank you for the blood of Jesus, oh God. And nothing washes away our sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What makes us whole again? Uh, nothing but your blood, Father. We thank you for the blood and sacrifice that you gave for us, God. And we ask you, Lord, look on the sick everywhere, God. In the hospital, the nursing home, God. Even in here today, God. But God, your son was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. And we know that the chest of our peace was upon him, God. And Lord, with this Christ, we already healed today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, we thank you for peace today, God. The peace that passes all understanding to keep our heart and mind through you today, God. We just thank you, God, for being God of our life today, God. We just appreciate you, God. To realize, Lord, it's in you that we live and move and have our being, God. And Lord, we thank you, God. We look up to you. Realize all our help comes from you, God. And we thank you, God. We can do all things through you who strengthen us on today, God. And we ask you, Holy Spirit, have your way in this house today. We ask you to bless the woman of God and go bring forth the word on today, God. Let her down in the storehouse of wisdom today, God. We ask you, Holy Spirit, oh God, the rule and super rule today, God. And Lord, we thank you, Father God. We realize, Lord, we had not been for you on our side. We don't know where we'll be today, God. We thank you so much, oh God, for giving us another chance at life, oh God. And Lord, we appreciate you, who you are, and what you're going to do, Father. The Holy Spirit, we say yes to your will and yes to your way, God. And have you bless us, oh God, we will be satisfied. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. 
Good morning, church. Here are the announcements for the month. Christian Sympathy of the Church is extended to Sharon Howard and family in the loss of her aunt. Warner Temple Parent Body Missionary Meeting will take place on Monday, April the 8th at 5 p.m. Local preachers' classes will also be held on Monday, April the 8th at 6.30 via Zoom. Cape Fear Conference Easter check-in meeting will be held on Saturday, April 13th at 10 a.m. at St. John Amy Zion Church in Wilton, North Carolina. Warner Temple Grief Support Ministry will take place on Saturday, April the 13th at 10 a.m. The Wilmington District Lay Person of the Year program will be held on Sunday, April the 14th at 3 p.m. at St. James Amy Zion Church in Southport. Congratulations to Ms. Dolores Josie for being our Lay Person of the Year. Yay. Also being held on Sunday, April the 14th is the Be the Light Spring event. This event is from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Plaza on Prince Fest. Warner's Temple Officers and Leaders Meeting will take place on Thursday, April 18th at 8 p.m. on Zoom. Lee's Chapel Family and Friends Day will be held on Sunday, April the 21st. Dinner will be served at 1 p.m. and service starts at 2.30. Pastor Barnett will be speaking and our choir will be singing. On Sunday, April 28th, the Home Missions Department is hosting a tea directly after the service. That starts at 3 p.m. Donations are $10. Please see Sister Wright for tickets. Any member interested in joining the Pastors Appreciation Committee can sign up today in the office following today's worship service. Also, if you were not able to purchase a copy of Ms. Cameron's art last week, she has more today after service. These are all the announcements I have for you today. Please govern yourselves accordingly, and if needed, review these and more on the church's Facebook page, and have a blessed week. Thank you. Amen. We thank you, Sister Sykes, for those announcements. Um, one additional announcement. Um, Pastor just wants to let the choir know uh, next week, we usually have a rehearsal on Thursday. <laughs> And so he's going to meet with us Wednesday, and we will have a rehearsal then, Wednesday night. Um, and then they're going to give us a little repass, a little bit of spiritual guidance, and, um, and we're going to have some groceries. So this is a good time <laughs> to join the choir. We're going to have some, a little rehearsal and um, some spiritual guidance. Amen? So that's Wednesday, not Thursday. And just want to say thank you to everybody who participated. You know, every year it's always great. Um, I don't know why I always get so nervous when I only have three or four Easter eggs, but man, to God be the glory, to God be the glory for the great job we did last week working together with all that happened. Sister Josie, the Easter bunny, the Easter eggs, the juice, the, I can keep naming them, naming them. So thank you on behalf of Pastor. And of course, he's not here. Michael Jordan will be back next week. You got the second string here. I'm like Dennis Rodman, but that's okay. If there's any greetings, but you know, Dennis Rodman knew how to rebound, amen? So if there are any greetings here, we just want to welcome you on behalf of our Warner Temple family. Michael Jordan will be back next week. Um, any visitors online, you could have chosen any place to be. And so we just thank you for carving out time to share with us your worship experience this morning. We hope that we say something, do something that will um, bless you. And most of all, give God the glory, amen? Amen. So now it is time if we have any little people here who are um, 2 to 18 and you're not married. If you'll meet me at the front. Come on now. You know how we do this every week. It is our children's hour. Oh, we got uno, dos, tres. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> Praise God. Who ruled the world? Ladies ruled the world. <laughs> Amen. That's just a song. I'm, I'm not being, you know, okay. So thank God for all three beautiful young ladies. Amen. Praise God for them. Amen. All three of them can sing too. What's this? Yes. Amen. I'm not going to do anything. All right. So, um, but I do have the mic. Can you tell us your name and what grade you're in? Starting here. My name is Lauren and I'm in second grade. All right. My name is Nina, and I am in third grade. Yeah. My name is Malaya, and I'm in second grade. 
Amen. So if pastor was here, he would ask two questions. Um, one question is, how are you doing in school? School, you're doing good? Okay. Are you on spring break or? Yes. Okay, good. And you, young lady, how are you doing in school? Doing great, yeah. Um, spring break came and gone. Oh, so it came, yeah. All right, well, good. You going back to school tomorrow as well? Mm hmm And then spring break, are you there or are you going back to school? It's good. You doing well in class? All right. So um, how are you doing at home? Do you have chores? You don't clean nothing? Don't wash dishes? Empty the trash? But you're doing great in, in, at the house. Okay. Amen? All right, how are you doing in the house? Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. She's doing all right, she says. And how are you, young lady? You doing all right? Y'all have chores? Y'all don't clean the... Well, you used to, okay. Well, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good, man. What about making up your bed? You make up your bed? Okay. Well, all right. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Well, God is good all the time. And I am sorry to say that I don't know how to do that sign, but I know one of you do. You, Nina Will, do you know how to sign as well? Jesus loves me. All right. So if you will um, sign here, stand here and be the proxy for pastor, and then will you sign to the audience? Okay. All right. So just... So one sign here, stand beside Nina, and we're going to sing, Jesus loves me. So do the sign so that the um, young adults can see it. Come here a little bit right here for me, and then you sign, Jesus loves me, okay? And then we'll do it, because Nina is leading us. Five, six, seven, eight. Jesus loves me. Little. Y'all know it? Y'all gonna sign? Yes. 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 Good job, good job. Thank you. All right, you may return back to your seats. Thank God. Oh, praise the Lord. All right, so the choir, we're going to lead one more song in worship, and then we'll move to the word of the Lord. Amen.
So um, I am having, I had my hymn book, you know, because um, I got all the stuff that I need to do, and I have misplaced it. So I got a little nervous energy up here because I can't find my hymn book. You know, we got to do the communion, but that's right. You say, go ahead, Celeste. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Celeste. We're encouraging each other. This morning was about friends helping each other. So I need some help this morning. Amen. Nevertheless, Matthew 26 and 6, and uh, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for the privilege to proclaim your gospel, even through a wretch like me. Thank you, God, for having friends that will bust the tile, the roof open, just to get to the feet of Jesus. And that's what we want to do today, Lord. We want to hear from you, not from me, my flesh, but hear from you. So, God, we pray that you will hide me behind the cross uh, and use this broken servant for a broken generation. And we'll forever, ever give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor, because we know who gets the glory is you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Let your heart say amen. 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 So Matthew 26, and starting at 26 again. I'm going to read it again. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Do this in remembrance of me. So, I was wrestling with uh, a fancy, smancy uh, title, but I could hear Pastor Barnett in the back of my head saying, um, just tell the story. <laughs> just be yourself and tell the story. So my topic is do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me. Okay, so communion, a brief meditation. Communion is a practice that the whole church Observes, observes in remembrance of Christ's sacrifice. Communion celebrates the gospel. Jesus was broken for us so that we can be fixed by him. Thank you, Brother James. Celebrating communion marks the story of Jesus. How Jesus, he gave himself completely to give us a better life. A new start and a fresh relationship with God. Communion is a time, point number one, I only have two points today. Point number one is self-examination. Reconcile of any broken relationships. I said self-examination, point number one. Reconcile of any broken relationships, whether it be by text, rolling the eye, self-examination, to ask for forgiveness for our arrogance, being or believing that we are superior to a special group, to the homeless, to the less fortunate, to the sickly, to the underprivileged. Self-examination. How can we say we love God whom we never seen before, but we can't even say good morning? To our sister and our brother. Hmm? Self-examination. Repentance. Praying. Self-examination is an important part of living as an authentic Christian life. But by human nature, y'all, we prefer Uh self-deception. Deceiving ourselves. It's easy and comfortable to say, I don't need to walk on the track this morning. I'm not overweight. That's called self-deception. Ah. It's easy to deceive ourselves. She know what she did. He know what he did. And I won't speak to them. Uh-huh. 
easy, easy to just be comfortable in self-deception. Uh, Self-examinations are important to check our motives, y'all, and our attitudes. Yeah. Woo. And our attitudes. It's just not females, but men, your attitude. Amen. I ain't come to fight or beat up nobody. <laughs> this is just called self-examination. And I fall right into it. Jeremiah 17 and 9, it says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Who can know the heart? Self-examination is a vital part to the believer. And communion, point number two, y'all. <laughs> it's a time to celebrate. The word celebrate means to make a special occasion. It comes from a Latin word. I'm trying to impress y'all. It comes from a Latin word. That means to attend a feast. Uh-huh. And when we come around the Lord's table, it's a feast. Mm, it's a feast that celebrates God's compassion towards us. Woo! We were lost and without Christ. But he had what? Compassion towards us. Think about all the sins you have already committed. Let me say, think about the sins that we have already committed. And God allow us to live. God allow us to live. God gave you strength to get up out of your bed this morning. Huh? He blessed us with somewhere to sleep last night. Yeah, food on our table. Everything that we need, God has provided for us. Yes, and listen, not because we deserve it. It's not because we deserve it, but because of his what? Compassion for us. I don't ever want to get tired of telling God thank you. Hey, I don't ever want to get tired of telling God thank you. I remember I was young, younger, and I used to pick at the saints, the older saints, because every time you see them walking, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Always telling God thank you. I understand now. And then I heard Sister Tanya um, Armour say, I don't want no rock crying out for me. I don't want no birds crying out for me. Thank you, God, for your grace. Thank you, God, for your mercy. Listen, mercy is holding back what we deserve. Hey, mercy is holding back from us what we deserve. And grace is God giving us what we do deserve. Ooh, anybody got a reason to praise God this morning? Hey, when you think of all the stuff he brought us out of, that's a reason to praise God. When we, woke, when we woke up this morning, we had the choice of what we wanted to put on, what shoes we wanted to pick up, put on. Um, I remember when we, um, I remember growing up, I had two sets of clothes. I had my church clothes and I had my play clothes. Uh, but now, look at us, we can go and shop almost every weekend. Now, I don't suggest that, but we can go and shop every weekend. We can shop every month. We can even shop online. God is just good. Yeah, and we can go and cook about anything we want. Steaks, shrimp, ribeye. And if we don't even feel like cooking, y'all, we can go to almost any restaurant that we want. Huh? I remember it used to be one car to one family. Y'all remember back in the day? It used to be one car, but now you got a car. Your husband got a car. Your children got a car. Even your siblings got a car. That's a reason to praise God. We came to celebrate today. And listen, if you don't want to celebrate, that's fine. That's good. Just move on out of our way. Just move on out of our way. Sit down with your stiff neck. Just move on out of our way. He's been good and he's been faithful. 
this manner of celebration has to do with Jesus Christ. I didn't say the president. I said this manner of celebration has to do with Jesus the Christ. Hey, who paid for all our sins through his death. And I am guaranteed eternal life by him raising physically from the dead. That's a reason to celebrate. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to move on to the communion. You and I, all we are are tenants in this life right now. We're tenants, uh -huh, tenants with a lease agreement. And one day, we're going to get a notice from the landlord that our lease has expired. Huh? That's all we got is a little lease agreement. And if you're 50 and older like me, you're subleasing. You're subleasing. Because um, it's not as long as it has been for us to be expired. Amen? Amen. And with the lease agreement, y'all, there are some breakdowns mm, from time to time. If it ain't my back, it's my knees. I'm talking about breaking down on the lease agreement, on the, the, the tenant. If it's not my knees, it's my ankles swollen up. Huh? My hands cramping up. It's my shoulders. In other words, there is a leak in this old building. Hey! There's a leak in this old building. And sooner or later, your soul is going to have to move on. But thank God that as believers, y'all, we got a forwarding address. Huh? I said we got a forwarding address. Thank you, Lord. When the landlord tells me that my lease has expired, I'm going home to be with the Lord. Hey! I'm going home to be with the Lord. That's something to celebrate. I got a reason to celebrate. He died for me. And every time I come into the Lord's house, I tell him, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for saving me from myself. Uh-huh. I was a true for dare kid. If you say true for dare, I'm going to do the dare. Yeah, I ain't scared. I thank you, Lord, for saving me from myself. Thank you for making ways out of no way. Hey, thank you for bearing my sins. Thank you, Lord. I got a right to celebrate. Thank you, Lord. Just for who he is. Listen, communion is a time to reflect. If I've done anything that's not pleasing to the Lord, it's a time to reflect, y'all. I know I text something crazy. Please forgive me. I was wrong, I was in my flesh, I was out of whatever. It's a time to self-examination. Huh? It's a time to celebrate because we are all guilty of some sin. We've all come short of the glory of God. Amen. Do this in remembrance of me. That's it, y'all. Come on and give the Lord some praise. Oh, bless the Lord. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the praise. So it is now time for our communion. But before we do that, we will not take for granted that there's someone here who's in need of a special prayer. And right there where you are, we're just going to pray for you. Jesus knows all about our struggles. And he will guide us to the day is there is not a friend. Huh? There is not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. So, Father God, we thank you for this time. Don't know who's in here, who is struggling. They know self-examination. But, man, they about to just lose it. I don't know who you are and what you stand in need of. Maybe there's sickness. You got swollen feet like me. <laughs> but Lord, we just want to look to you and ask you to be our help. Guide us. Give us the courage to say, I'm sorry. 
just like you forgave us, we want to forgive as well, God. We ask that you remove any bitterness. Break up the stony heart and give us a heart of flesh again, Lord. And the first step is just asking the Lord to forgive us. We pray as we just give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. Maybe there's someone that wants to give their life to the Lord. We didn't say that you wanted to be perfect, but we just want to change the direction that you're going. Realizing that there is a leak in your building. And one day we're going to have to meet the Lord. And we want to meet him in peace. We pray, God, that you would touch that individual who is seeking to turn their lives around. Now, most of all, God, we've done our best. We proclaimed your word. Now we pray, God, that you would just bless us and keep us. Give us courage to keep on going, God. I heard the songwriter say, I don't feel no way tired. I come too far from where we started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe that you have brought us this far all the way to April to leave us. So God, we give your name the praise. We give your name the glory. Let every heart say amen. 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 There's not a friend like a No, not one. Yes, Lord. Jesus knows. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Not one. Jesus knows. give the Lord a praise right there. Just put your hands together and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Again, I had my hymn book, so, um, and I had all my notes in it. I got about 200 notes, but would you please stand with me? Oh, I need my glasses. One second. One second. One second. Got the Helen Keller spirit on me. Y'all don't know who Helen is. If you're 50 and over, you know who Helen Keller is. Yes. So if you will stand with me, it says standing, uh -huh. and we'll repeat here or say it together, um, the great invitation. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation of our sins, and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. Wherefore, we do truly and earnestly repent of your sins and in charity with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy way. Draw near with your faith and take the holy sacrament to your comfort and devoutly kneeling, making your humble confession to Almighty God. You may be seated. Yes, thank you, thank you. Friends, friends, if there's anyone who haven't received their sacrament or their communion, um, yes, I see you there. 
All right, I'm coming to you. There is not a friend. Sing that a little bit more. Yes. There's not a friend like. Thank you, Sister K. Ham. I, I forgot to give this out. Thank you. Uh, could you come meet me at the altar? Thank you, all my friends. Like the lonely tears. Y'all good? Musicians? Amen. Dennis Rodman, I tell you. All right. The general confession. Almighty God, Father, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and weakness, which from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may hear and please thee in the newness of life. In the honor and glory of thy name, Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all them that have heartly rep repentance and true faith turn unto thee. Have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let's say it together. Almighty God, yes. We do not presume to come to this holy table. O merciful Lord, trusting in thy own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercy, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Ah, grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat thy flesh of the dear son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may live and grow thereby, and that being washed through his most precious blood, we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercies did give thine only son 
Jesus Christ to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his oblation of himself once offered a full and perfect sufficient sacrifice. Oblation is satisfaction for the sins of the whole world and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual, a perpetual memory of his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father. We humbly beseech thee and grant that we receive these creatures of bread and wine according to thy son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution in remembrance of his death and passion. May may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who in the same night he was betrayed, took bread and gave, and when he gave, and when he had given thanks, he broke it. Gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you, Celeste. This, do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new testament, of the new testament, which is shed for you and for the many of remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye drink in remembrance of me. Amen. I take the communion first. self-examination. You see, I opened the thing and even get the communion, y'all. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Okay. Self-examination. I take the communion first. Let me move this off the altar, Lord. I'm fumbling. Okay. I take it first, a symbol, the bread of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, a symbol, the wine, I drink it, his precious blood, I give thanks to the Lord, I give thanks to the Lord, take it by faith until he returns. It is very meat and right that we should all at times <laughs> almighty everlasting God yes and sing Holy, holy. Amen. So you have your communion. If you would take your communion, open it up. There's a wafer. It's a symbol. It represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take it and eat it now. Feast on it in your hearts. Give thanks unto the Lord that he will may keep you and preserve you. Then you have the other side, the grape juice. It's a symbol, the blood of Jesus. Will you take it now and drink it? What can wash away all my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Feast on it and give thanks in your heart 
and may he preserve you and keep you until he comes again because there is a leak in this building so let us say it together no the body of our lord and jesus christ the body of our lord and jesus christ which was given for thee, preserve thy soul and body unto everlasting life. Take and eat this, and remember that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. All right, so the Lord's Supper, I mean the Lord's Prayer, we can say it together. Our Father, yes, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Find us the kingdom. Amen. So we used to get up and fellowship because this is a celebration. It's a feast. But we know better, so we're going to do better. And so if you would just turn around and just, well, you know, turn your head, not your whole body. And just greet your neighbor and say, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, man. It's good to see you. <laughs> I guess they want to sing. The blood still works. for you being here this morning. I'm going to um, come down. Again, um, if you will govern yourselves with all the announcements, um, just look at Facebook page. Pastor will be back next week. Thank God we look forward to him being back next week. Amen? Wow. I understand, man, every day when I understand why they do what they do, a meditation is, is feasible, so I thank God. And um, if you're looking on social network, Pastor, we love you and miss you. We pray that you come back rejuvenated and ready to take place. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So we bow to the cross. All right, so we'll begin this, we'll end this service as we begin. We brought light into the sanctuary. Precious. Amen. It is a symbol. We bow to the cross. Uh-huh. We distinguish our candles. The candle on the right represents Jesus who came in human form. The 
candle on the left represents Jesus, who came as the only begotten Son of God. Uh huh. But before she distinguishes the candle, she lights her candle because we want to be a light whenever there is darkness. Mm -hmm. So, as Pastor Barnett would say, so those who uh, ran into me may want to know him because they ran into me. <laughs> Amen. Something like that. Amen. So now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God, our Father, be glory and majesty and dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Speak blessings over your life. You may be dismissed. Praise God.